it's Danielle again. So, today has been an awesome day. Yes, it has. <laughs> um, of course, I just got home from work. And I had two awesome packages waiting on me. Um, since I have had a little bit of money um, to play with, um, since I got my income tax done and all that, I have been treating myself to some things I have wanted for a long time. Um, as I said before, I got the laptop and I've been ordering some yarn. I uh, showed you stuff that I had ordered from Nitpicks. So, uh, I ordered some more stuff and some of it came today. So, and if you haven't noticed, this is also a showcase because I have a finished object. Yes, the hitchhiker is done. It is off the needles, ends woven in. The only thing that is not done is it has not been blocked, which I am going to do because I think that it will grow some with blocking and I would like it just a hair um, bigger. So I was inquiring about blocking today on Instagram and um, I've been told by some very helpful ladies, uh, Chris Loves Wool from um, In a Snit, and um, XEO Mom Stephanie from Intertwined Stitches, I believe it is, um, and Lakshmi, also from that podcast, and they have been very helpful and telling me how to go about blocking and ensuring me that everything will be fine. So, um, let's get on with it. Um, here, I will take this off so I can show it. This is the Hitchhiker. And as you can see, it is fairly long. I mean, it's, it's longer than my wingspan, but... My wingspan is not all that long because I have short arms. So, this is The Hitchhiker by Martina Bim. And this is the uh, pattern that was gifted to me so graciously by my very good friend, Brandy, Fall Little Star. And I absolutely love it. Brandy is also knitting Hitchhiker, and I can't wait till... Hers is done so I can see it because her yarn is awesome. So, the next thing I have uh, that came in the mail today, I ordered from, uh, who did I order it from? The Sassy Sheep on Etsy. And I have been wanting to try these for a while. I keep hearing people on YouTube talk about them and how great they are and I've been wanting to try them for a long time so since I had a little bit of extra money I ordered myself some because I deserve it right <laughs> so I've ordered two pair of chow goo needles circular needles I ordered a size 8 in 16 inch and I ordered a size 2 and 32 inch it's gonna glare um i bought this pair to try um magic loop socks um i seen on one podcast the woman was magic looping socks on these and she said that she loved them she'd never magic loop socks on anything else again so um and then the size 8, 16 inch I got for like hats and stuff. So I'm excited to try those. Now, I have one more thing that I received in the mail today. And this just absolutely made my day that this came in the mail. 
so not that I had a bad day because I had a pretty good day but um, the second I got home and seen that this was here I got on my phone and I started sending Brandy pictures <laughs> so it come very neatly packaged And if you haven't guessed, this is from Known Acres. And I was wanting to buy some really nice um, yarn and I contacted Ross Funko Boy on Instagram. He smelled great guy on YouTube. I contacted Ross and I was asking Ross, you know, what do you suggest? Because Ross orders really nice yarn all the time. And he said, go look at No Makers. So this is the first thing I got. Tell me that is not awesome. This is called Animal, and it is Gnome Fingering Sock House Gnome, 75% Superwash Merino, 25% Nylon, 462 yards. So, there's that with the label. And this is awesome. This is so, like, Halloween. Halloween is one of my absolute favorite times of the year. It's bright purple, like neon orange, and black. And I'm thinking that this is probably going to become a sock head hat. And I will wear it all year round. I don't have to wait for Halloween because this is awesome. The next thing I ordered, and this is like my absolute favorite thing, and I was torn between two collars and I text Brandy and I'm like, I need help. So Brandy helped me decide which of the two collars to get because I, I just could not make this decision on my own. Um, I can't remember what the other one was called. They were both zombie related. So this is what I ended up getting. This is awesome. This is No Makers Worsted Weight Squishy Gnome 100% Superwash Merino 218 yards and the color name is Zombie Flannel. As y'all know Walking Dead is my absolute favorite show in the whole wide world. So, when I seen she had zombie yarn, you best believe one of them, if not both of them, was coming home with me. And I was going to order both of them, but then I seen this, and I was like, oh, I must have that. So, I have to say, for me, somebody who can't get really nice yarn where I live... I found this to be just a, a tiny bit pricey. The zombie flannel was $21 and the animal was $22. I don't know if you can see that. $22. But it's still not pricey considering if you go on Etsy and type in like hand dyed yarn or whatever, most skeins on there are like $30 and up. So that was more than worth paying for, especially zombie yarn. Come on now. So I have, oh no, I have one other thing that I have been working on. I had said that I wasn't going to cast on anything until I got my hitchhiker done. And I haven't been working on my sock because I'm like, the hitchhiker needs to get done. So, but I did cast on a hat uh, the night before last. So, 
the night before last I pretty much did the ribbing and the increase round and then the rest of it I did last night and I'm working on closing it up it is a slouchy hat and it is um, the nitpick swish DK dove heather is what that is and I, I did order two balls of this and this is how much right now I have of the second ball so we'll see how much yarn I have left when I get this closed up and then if I have enough I may make baby hat or I don't know something so anyways I have that so I'm going to finish this right now as a matter of fact while I have it out like I said I've not done any work whatsoever on my socks because I wanted to get the hitchhiker done and um, then as soon as I get that hat done I am so casting this on oh I love it oh, crap that means though that I have to get out the swift and the ball winder and all that hmm. this might have to wait until tomorrow evening I don't know we'll see anyways I'm gonna go because this video has probably gotten too long to upload but that is what I got that is what I finished and what I've been working on and I hope that y'all are having just as great a day as I am so I'll talk to you later. Bye.